Do it yourself. Simple skills, big results. How to convert 120 volts to 240 volts. Converting a 120 volt outlet to a 240 volt outlet is a project that requires careful planning and execution to ensure safety and functionality. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you through the process. Ensure the circuit is dedicated. First, you must verify that the 120 volt outlet you plan to convert is on a dedicated circuit. This means it should not power any other outlets or devices. Check by shutting off the breaker and ensuring no other outlets lose power. Shut off the power. Turn off the main supply to the panel at the main circuit breaker to avoid electrocution. Even with the power off, be cautious of the terminals and wires as they can still carry an electrical charge. Identify and modify the circuit breaker. Locate the specific circuit breaker for the 120 volt outlet and remove the single pole breaker. Replace it with a double pole breaker, which is necessary for a 240 volt circuit. Ensure the new breaker is installed in a position that picks up both legs of the 120, 240 volt bus bars. Handle the neutral wire. Identify the neutral white wire associated with the circuit by tracing it from the cable to the neutral bus bar. Disconnect this wire from the bus bar and color a significant section of it with a black marker to indicate it will now act as a hot conductor. Connect the wires. Reconnect the wires to the new double pole breaker. The black wire goes to one terminal and the newly identified white wire, now a hot conductor, goes to the other terminal. Ensure all connections are tight and secure. Install the 240 volt receptacle. Remove the 120 volts outlet and replace it with a 240 volt receptacle. Connect the black, white, now hot, and ground wires to the corresponding terminals on the new receptacle. Make sure the ground wire is securely wrapped around the green ground terminal. Test the outlet. Use a neon voltage tester to ensure there is no power at the outlet before proceeding. Once the new receptacle is installed, turn the power back on and test the voltage to ensure it reads 240 volt between the black and white wires. Additional considerations. If your device has a cord, you may need to change the cord end to a 240 volt cord cap and ensure the receptacle matches, e.g. NEMA 615R. Safety and expertise. While this process can be done by a homeowner with some electrical knowledge, it is highly recommended to consult or hire a licensed electrician, especially if you are not experienced with electrical circuits.